And this is your natural antibiotic. In your book, there's a recipe for the flu bomb. And the flu bomb has crushed garlic in it. I don't say how much because it depends how much you, much you dare. <coughs> some people can handle a couple of cloves. Some people can handle only one clove. Also a little bit of grated ginger. Um, sprinkle of cayenne pepper or half a teaspoon if you can handle it. Drop of eucalyptus oil, only a drop. There's definitely a measurement there. And we're going to look at a relative of the onion now, which is garlic. And this is a nice garlic. I always look for the purple ones. So you want to have a look at for the, I was going to say Australia, but I'm in America now. So I, I try not to get the Chinese ones. And if you press it down, you can open it up easily. Garlic is a very potent antibiotic. In fact, the research is showing is six times more powerful than tetracycline, and that's a common antibiotic. To use it as an antibiotic, you would need probably about three of those a day. Now, if someone says, my gut couldn't handle three of those a day, what you can do is you can get a bowl of hot soup, grate it into the soup, and that'll just take the edge off it if a person cannot handle it raw. Or something delicious to put into your baked potato is to grate this straight into, say on this very fine, on the fine grater, grate it straight into olive oil and then spoon that mix into your baked potato. Very, very nice. And some people choose to do the antibiotic sandwich, which is a slice of sourdough spelt toast. Uh, olive oil on that and then grate this whole clove of garlic onto the slice and then avocado and tomato it is very delicious it's almost like a little mini pizza isn't it and what happens is the bread underneath and the olive oil underneath and then on top you've got the avocado and tomato it calms it down a little bit but I'm going to give you the recipe for the flu bomb or you can take the flu bomb so the flu bomb can be used for bronchitis, it can be used for asthma, it can be used for the flu, it can be used for pleurisy, it can be used for pneumonia, it can be used for sinus or a head cold. The first ingredient is garlic and the garlic is crushed. I'm not putting an amount on there because some people can handle that much garlic, some people can only handle half that garlic, so it depends what you can handle. The next ingredient is ginger, and the ginger is usually, well it can be finely grated, and usually the ginger is about a quarter of a teaspoon. The next ingredient is eucalyptus oil. If you don't have eucalyptus oil, you can use tea tree oil and it's one drop. Next ingredient is cayenne pepper. Now some people can handle half a teaspoon, some people can handle a quarter of a teaspoon, some people can only handle a little shake. So that's up to you too. The next ingredient is lemon. If the lemons are on the tree, I say use the juice of a lemon. If they're a dollar a lemon, maybe you use half a half a lemon but basically lemon juice you're using and the last ingredient is honey and usually it's approximately one teaspoon even if you put in four teaspoons it does not really um, mask the other ingredients <laughs> and then you mix that in about a third of a cup of hot water now if someone has a flu or a cold or a sinus it's usually taking one of those three times a day. So that's the flu bomb. Usually by the third day, you don't need it anymore. <laughs> that's quick, isn't it? It's quite potent, but it works. One lady rang up and she said, Barbara, I can't make, I can't use this, car, this um, eucalyptus oil. I said, why not? She said, it says on the bottle, not fit for human consumption. I said, we're not asking you to drink the bottle.
<laughs> it's one drop. In Australia, you can buy eucalyptus cough lozenges. What do you think's in the cough lozenges? Eucalyptus oil. <laughs> so you only one drop. Yes, you'd probably be in trouble if you drank half a cup, but I think that's a bit of common sense, isn't it? Now what I'm doing now, this is what you do to a baby. You could do it to a newborn baby. You could do it to any baby. So I've got a little cloth that's a strip, and that looks like about eight inches long, about a bit more than an inch wide, and I've put some fine slices of garlic on there. And I'm going to cover that over, and I'm going to pretend that the palm of my hand is the bottom of the foot. So I've got a layer of cloth between the fine slices of garlic and the skin. If that garlic touches the skin, it will blister the skin. Not so with the onion, but definitely with the garlic. And you can do this to a baby any age, and within a couple of minutes you can smell it on their breath, because it takes one minute for one drop of blood to go around the whole body. So this is a great way to get garlic into a baby if they've got a little bit of a chesty cough, or if they've got a, a head cold, a bit snuffly, then you can put the garlic on their feet. I used to put it put on my son James. I realise now, and I didn't realise at the time, that we lived in a house that backed onto a swamp, so my children often got chest colds. When I moved to the rainforest, high and dry, no more chest colds, or very rare. But when he was three, he used to get them a lot, so I'd finally slice the garlic, wrap it on his feet, put a sock and a shoe on and send him off to play. So every step he takes, what's happening? A little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more. At the end of the day, when I took his shoes and socks off and the garlic off, the garlic was like bits of yellow dried leather, not, not one bit of juice left in it. It had all gone into James. <laughs> so that's a way that you can get the garlic into the little ones. Although I find you, you uh, crush garlic into and into mashed avocado and a bit of chopped tomato and salt and put it on some crackers. I find even little ones will quite enjoy that. But garlic is a potent antibiotic and you can use it as such. If you want to use it as an antibiotic, you would probably need, need probably at least three of those medium-sized cloves a day. And you could have it in the flu bomb or you could crush it into a bowl of hot soup, or you could put it on a slice of sourdough toast and put avocado on top, just, but that garlic going in has a, has a great effect for a chest cold or a head cold.